All right, so in this video, we're checking out some new ND filters for the Hero 10 and the Hero 10 Black Bones. As you guys know, I have been using uh, camera butter filters for a while now on my channel on a lot of my other cameras. So, for example, here's in Hero 8, and I use these like stick on uh, ND filters. And camera butter is pretty much like I think they're pretty exclusive in terms of the companies that make these types of basically goes on the glass because the Hero 8 you can't, you know, there's no, no lens or something you can take off like you can on the Hero 9 or the Hero 10. So if you see here on the Hero 10, I've got one of their uh, filters here, this is an ND8, and these are the ones that can twist off, and they are waterproof. So these basically work uh, almost the same as the standard lens protector that's on here with a seal and it just twists on so that it won't fall off. And I've got the ND16 here on the uh, Hero 10 Black Bones. And it comes in a set of three. I put the uh, standard lens guard back in here. This is the ND32. It comes in a set of three here for $50. And um, you know, these are you know, very high quality Gorilla Glass. Um, I, if you want to pay more, there's like the Polar Pro ones for like, I think 80 or $90. So, uh, but these are totally fine. I don't see any sort of vignetting or weird color casting on these ND filters. Never had any problems like that. So if you're wondering if they're low quality because they're cheaper, that's not the case in my opinion. Now for those of you guys that want a lighter ND filter for your Hero 10 Black Bones, they have the solution here where they've made a 3D printed adapter. And this here you can buy off their site, it's six dollars. Uh, it's printed in PET G and does twist on, it has like a little like a groove here for the uh hooks for the uh, basically for twisting the lens on. Unlike uh, the one on my Naked Hero 8, this one here just uh is by friction fit, but I've never had this fall off, it just kind of pops on and off like this. And they've used the same um basically design element here where they use their stick-on filters and put it into the uh, 3D print and this actually uses the same uh, these are from the Hero 8 and they'll use uh, they'll actually go into the same adapter here and I actually have a couple already um, assembled so you have to buy all these parts separately they don't come assembled like this so you buy the um, uh, the 3D print the adapter and then you buy the uh, actual uh, ND filter um, glass, and this is what it looks like here. This one here is the uh, ND32, and it has like this protective plastic on there. I've already assembled the 8 and the 16, so this is the 8, and this is what it looks like assembled. And it's a very tight fit. It's uh, uh, almost impossible for it to come out. You have to push it in from the other side to pop it out. So I would recommend if you do get this uh, system to buy the adapters or three of them. And of course, I want a uh, different uh, filter for each one of your settings. So uh, for me, I went with the 8, 16, and 32. I think if you buy that set of three, it's $27. If you buy the 3D prints for $6. Of course, you can print these out yourself, but um, you'll need a fairly good printer and you probably need some good material so that it doesn't pop off. But uh, let me show you what these look like on the bones. So pop this one off. And the little uh, grooves here have to fit into this, this, these little hooks. And it'll go in like this. And it's a fairly tight fit. So if your 3D printer is not so great, if your, if your filament isn't so great, those uh, hooks will probably, those little grooves might break off, so something to be aware of. But that's what it looks like. And uh, in terms of the video quality, it's exactly the same as the uh, regular ND filters on the full size Hero 10. I haven't noticed any differences whatsoever. Um, but, you know, if, uh, if you're worried about this falling off, I would probably buy the prints instead of printing them in yourself, just in case if there's any kind of. Um, flaws in the print, you know, this part here might fail and then the uh, ND filter will fall off. Now, the reason you would want to do this is mainly for the weight. So these uh, little adapters with the ND, uh, ND filter from the Hero 8, 
it's coming at about 4.39 grams. And then the, if you get the regular uh, ND filter for the full size Hero 10, it's, uh, yeah, it's like more than double, uh, nine grams for this one. So you are saving a few grams. And for those of you that are, you know, putting these on Cinewhoops and something small, the weight is uh, going to be a factor and you're going to probably want to go with something lighter. And it's also a little bit cheaper. So if you go with the uh, set of three um, of the ND filters, it's like $27. And if you buy the 3D prints, they're $6. So that's like $45. And then if you buy the, uh, the set here, it's $49, $50. So you save a little bit of money there. Plus, you can also basically get the same functionality if you want to put this on a full size Hero 10, you can do that as well. If you have the PETG filament and a good printer, you can print these adapters out yourself and then just buy the pack of three and then you get like basically the same functionality for $27. So it's a pretty good deal all around. But anyway, yeah, I would recommend print uh, three of these or get three of the adapters because uh, taking the glass in and out of this adapter is kind of a hassle because it sticks in so well, it's a very tight fit. You actually have to get your fingerprints on the other side of the glass to push the glass out, which I kind of don't like. And then you also wear down the adhesive, the, the sort of sticky stuff after a while. You can wash it, of course, you know, if you get dirt on it. But, uh, you know, uh, I would just get three of the adapters. Then that way you can just actually twist these on and off instead of having to deal with all the mess with the swapping the glass out. And then these fit, you know, very nicely back inside the original case here and I just, you know, I'm just going to keep these three together like this and uh, yeah, four of my black bones I'm going to go with a lighter setup. Anyway, if you want to get more information about ND filters, um, how to use them, uh, Camera Butter has some pretty good articles and some technical background on these products and what they do for your cameras. I'll link some of that down in the video description along with links to get all, all this stuff. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.